All right, guys, let me give you a status update on the condo. The condo came out very well. We just got done painting the condo. Let me show you guys around, show you guys what's going on. So here is the kitchen, the original cabinets. We painted everything. Uh, the oven or the stove and the hood, we're gonna replace that. I'm not too sure if I'm just gonna do all white. We're probably gonna do all white on that and also for the uh, dishwasher, probably all white so that way we just keep this all nice and clean and simple. As you can see, these are the regular cabinets that have been painted. Done a really good job. However, we do, we do have the hand pulls. Let's see where the hand pulls are at. I wonder where Colin had put the hand pulls. It's not there. Well, it's somewhere. Anyway, what we're gonna do is probably do some black modern Something black hand pulls right here. I think is gonna be pretty good. Love the countertops. The flooring here, we're just gonna keep this the original. We're gonna clean this up. Here, we're gonna rip out the carpets and we're gonna make it gray. Let me know what do you think about this color here. It's kind of a little bit brown, but gray at the same time. Also, we painted this mantle. I don't know if you guys remember, this thing was actually brown, right? The wall here. We may end up doing a feature wall. I don't know if you guys can see the colors or not. So here's the uh, primary. On the primary, there's a couple things that we have to do. It's gonna be carpet, okay? We need to do all the outlets that need to be done. We're gonna do a ceiling fan here. Here's the closet here. Remember they had a bunch of shelves. They took all the shelves out. We have to do a light here. But let me show you the bathroom real quick. So we kept the original cabinets. We're gonna put a nice mirror here. Here's the shower. So what we're probably gonna end up doing here is we, we kept this, but we're probably gonna make this maybe silver or black. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, we have a bumper here. I don't know why we put this bumper. Oops. Oh, they went around it. Oops, I'm gonna have to have Colin fix that. Because that is not good. There should be a bumper down there and that right here. But other than that, man, I'm, I'm been like very pleased. So overall, uh, with the paint, man, paint goes a long way, let me tell you. I wonder if this has been done. Oh, this doesn't need to be done. That's fine. That could be cleaned. Let me show you the uh, laundry room. I don't know if you guys remember all those cabinets and stuff like that. However, we're going to do uh, a new light and new exhaust fan I may be able to get away with that this room right here at a ceiling fan all new outlets so I mean overall everything is good I'm here to get the measurements for a couple things well not the measurements I need to take account of all the outlets well this one still looks like it's a pretty dark it needs to be painted some more yeah, I'm going to have to get Colin here to paint this a little bit more. Because it looks like it's not fully painted. So just a quick tip when you're doing your rehab and you're doing your walk, one of the things I like to do is actually go room by room 
and take a checklist of all the things that I need because there's a lot of miscellaneous stuff that you're gonna miss. So what I like to do is start on one side of the wall and walk the whole perimeter of the property. So here's a couple things that I wanna share with you, uh, what we got here. Uh, we're gonna replace all the outlets. So I started at one end from the kitchen and I literally walked along the wall all the way around, right? 23 outlets, then I need one GFI. Uh, rocker switches, we need a total of seven rocker switches. Now there's a double rocker switch, so we got a total of five of that. Uh, ceiling fans, we got two ceiling fans, one for each room, but because it only has one rocker switch, we know that we need a ceiling fan that has a remote to control the lights. Uh, we need a light fixture for the kitchen, a light fixture for the entryway here. Now also, it's kind of hard to remember as far as the light fixtures that you're going to need because all the light fixtures are going to be uh, a different size. So like for this area right here, I took a picture so that way when I need to go get the light fixture for the kitchen, I have an idea how large the bedroom is. Also the light fixture for the hallway and the entry of the property. Now we have a light for the hallway and uh, we have two bathroom lights which I also had to take a picture to as well and also the closet light and the bathroom light for the primary. So we need five bumpers for all the doors, two door stops that actually goes on the hinges. Also a note that I made was uh, as I was walking around, I noticed the subfloors were a little bit loose so we need some wood screws to screw that down before we go back and do the carpet. We added a note that uh, we need a stove and hood white dishwasher as well so that way that pops. Uh, we're gonna do some black door knobs for the kitchen. But here's the thing, I don't have a number count, but what I did was I took a picture at this angle, also took a picture at this angle, and also this angle. So that way when I am grabbing the knobs, I can see what the kitchen looks like, and also I know exactly what that count is gonna be. Uh, we need three fart fans, basically it's the exhaust fan in the two bathrooms and also in the laundry room. Now the door hinges, right, are these gold colors. So we need to get rid of this gold colors because we have brushed nickel and if we do with the black fixtures right now, the things are going to pop. Or I'm sorry, with the black fixtures here, the light and also the kitchen, one of my dilemmas is do I mix and match that because we already have a dual basin sink that was the original and also that faucet right there is like 350 bucks so you know I don't want to spend that 350 bucks so we're probably going to do the black stuff here but then when we go in the bathrooms uh, we're probably going to just leave the um, the faucets and all that stuff brushed nickel 16 door hinges uh, we need seven door handles, two round mirrors, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now, quick tip here. Once you're already done with the painting, the painter's supposed to come back and do the blue tape. Now, there's a couple things that I've seen that I want done, and I'm going to show you really quickly before the battery dies here. There's some cracking there that needs to be filled. This needs to come off. I want that out. However, I don't want the painter just to come out here just yet because now we're going to send in the handyman to do all this stuff, right? Install it first, once that's installed, then we do the carpets, then I'm gonna have the handyman, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have the painter to come back here and do the touch-up paint, okay? Also, if you guys need a really good painter, um, Colin, he's actually my go-to guy. Uh, he's actually from Hawaii, just wanna show the look, and also the uh, support too as well. Um, he is a licensed, a company. I'm going to have a link in the description below. Um, you got to support local business, especially with all my people from Hawaii. Much love. So Colin, you did a really good job. I really do appreciate it. I'm so blessed and I love it. I love it. All right, guys, remember this hard work does pay off. So just keep grinding. Do what you guys do. Cause I can tell you if you love 
what you do, you're gonna prosper in it. It doesn't matter if it's real estate or whatever it is. Other than that, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. I really, really do. I wish you guys nothing but the best and be blessed until the next video. Peace. I thought I hit the record button. <laughs> and I was doing so good on this vlog. All right, so I just wanna give you a quick bonus tip here. So you know that whole list that I put together as far as what we needed for that condo uh, renovation? Well, one thing I've noticed is that a lot of these homes that I've been touring, especially with these flip properties, even these luxury flip properties, I've been looking at the brand and the products that they have been using, and it just kind of looks a mm, little bit generic. So I decided to go on Amazon, right, instead of going to like Lowe's and Home Depot and buy these high-end stuff because that's where it costs you a lot of money, right? But check this out. All the items in the list that we um, had put together, I went to Amazon and take a look at this. Look, hand pulls, right, for the kitchen cabinets. Look at this, $49. Here's the uh, chandelier lights that we're gonna be putting inside the bathroom. Reason why I'm doing this one because the lights are actually offset and I'll show you why once these are installed and I'll, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Here are the door stops. Here's the uh, chandelier lights for the kitchen. Here are the lights for the uh, closets and the, uh, what is that, the, bah, 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 I can't think of it. The laundry room, the ceiling fans, all the rocker switches, the mirrors, the door hinges, and the door knobs, all that stuff. Look at this. All that for $1,222.87. So guys, I'm telling you, if you guys are flipping properties, this is where you want to go to go get all your products and your material, believe it or not. So that's pretty much it. Again, don't forget to subscribe, like comment too as well let me know what your thoughts are and uh, if you're thinking about getting into the flip game you know let me know let me know what state you're in how much does it cost you to flip your properties what kind of returns you're making i'm actually curious now i ain't no professional guru or, or anything like this i'm a guy that has a bunch of uh, investment properties i do more of a buy and hold however we don't know if we're going to sell this property yet i'm gonna wait till we're done we're gonna run the numbers i talk about this all the time but that's pretty much all I got. Peace.